And we're back with a brand new edition of Let's Football Live. Hello and welcome guys. Hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday. My guest today is 33-year-old Lithuanian striker Nerius Valskis, also known as Nerka or uh, Super Wii. As I say hello to all of you, let me just uh, tell you who he is in case you don't know. Uh, he won the Hero ISL Golden Boot in season 2019-20 with 15 goals and 6 assists, helping Chennai to a third Hero Indian Super League final. And they started from the bottom and they got there. So it was a miraculous turnaround under Owen Coyle. And Nereus Valskis' goals helping them ever so well in the process. Uh, along with that, of course, uh, he became only the second Golden Boot winner ever to, uh, to score in a Hero ISL final. Unfortunately, his heroics weren't going to be uh, good enough on the day as ATK went on to become champions for the third time. Uh, without further ado, let me just get him on the show because uh, since then ATK have become ATK Mohan Bagan and Nereus Valskis has joined Jamshedpur FC. Hello Abhishek, hello Shamil, Ajitas Balu, hello Mohammed Ryan, Jeffrin, how are you my friend? Lavo Boy, Edu Garcia, uh, it's not Edu Garcia but anyway, it's Valskis, yes Mashuk, you got it right. Manu Mukherjee, no ATK news today but we'll get to talk about the final uh, against ATK from uh, Valskis' point of view. So I'm going to try and get him on, I couldn't see him earlier, I think he's on now. Waiting for Nerka Valskis to come on, and there he is. Hello, my friend. How Hello, are you? I am fine. How are you, my friend? Very well, very well. Good to see you again, Nerka. Uh, how have you been doing? Where are you right now? I am now in Lithuania, in Kaunas. Uh, I'm good. Uh, everything is okay. My family good. I am good. Training individual. I miss a lot of football and uh, can't wait to start. Come back to to India. We can't wait to see you here as well. But how have you been spending the time since that ISL final on the 14th of March? It's been uh, more than five months. Yes. Uh, Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I hear you. Uh, first uh, two months, it was uh, very difficult, you know. It was a uh, lockdown, you know. Like the first two weeks, I was uh, also locked down when I came back after uh, India. And like two months, always I stay at home, you know, with the, uh, with the kids, with family. I spend time only with them. And after one month yeah. and a half, I start to again come back uh, to training. You know, I must be fit, you know. Uh, and uh, it's very difficult, very hard, but uh, hope I hope everything is coming better and better, you know. Yeah, that's what we're all hoping for. And of course, now the ISL will only be in uh, one city, which is in, uh, in Goa. So it'll be a bit of a bubble season. Does that change anything for you? Of course, you're going to miss the fans. Yeah, it will be very difficult or hard to play without supporters. But, you know, this year they decided to be a little bit safety, you know. And uh, this is, was the reason to play in one city and without supporters. But what we can do? We must to play. We must to show mm. a good game. And uh, we must enjoy. Everybody also who are staying at home, they want to watch football on TV, you know, this is important for all the world, you know. That's right, there's a lot of uh, love you Valskis that's, uh, that's appearing in the chat, I can see, I mean, there, you have so many fans and, and it didn't start, it didn't quite start like that, uh, Nerka, because, you know, you had a difficult start to the ISL, we'll, we'll come to that, but we'll, we'll, we'll start with the difficult start that you had to, uh, to life in general, because you were very young when your parents separated, I was watching the Chennai FC story, that was made on you. It wasn't easy for you and you know you had to move to the capital of Lithuania while you were still a teenager. Just tell us a bit about starting out in football in your first couple of days, Nerka. Yes, uh, you can uh, repeat again a little bit to miss some uh, words. Uh, I was saying that you had a very difficult start to life. You know, your parents separated. I was watching the Chennai story yeah. and then as a teenager, you had to move to the capital away from your family to play football. Yeah. How, was your, how, how were your initial few years as a footballer? Uh, it was uh, my, 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 how to say in English, uh, I very want to play football. That's why when I was 16 years, I already I leave, the, leave my family and I go to capital city Vilnius. And this was not so easy, but you know, when you want to play football, you must to leave something, you know. And when you yeah. want to play, and uh, I was very excited when I have this chance to go capital city to Vilnius and to start play football, and they have also very good facilities. Like I was very young, and this is was 
uh, for me very good, you know, to to grow up and uh, they gave me everything what you need uh, when you have uh, only start uh, professional football, you know. I was looking up Lithuania as a country and I was, you know, when, when we heard about uh, a striker from Lithuania coming and uh, I got to know that people like Bob Dylan, uh, like Pink, uh, even people like uh, Sean Penn, two-time Oscar winner, have, have a Lithuanian connection. They have Lithuanian roots. But there was a question from Yuvraj9581. He wanted to know if any, if any iconic personality or sports person influenced you a lot growing up. Yeah. No, in Lithuania, in like, I can tell you, like, this is like Europe, you know, it's very nice and very beautiful. And uh, what I can tell more, you know, it's very nice. No, I was going to ask in terms of your, in terms of people who had a big impact on you, uh, somebody you really looked up to uh, while growing up. I mean, uh, Cernic, the captain right now, there's uh, Jan Kausas, probably the more, most famous footballer to have come from Lithuania. Who were the sort of footballers you were looking up to or playing with that you that who really inspired you? Uh, when you told me about Jan Kauskas, uh, he helped me a lot. He was my uh, head coach, national team. Uh, and uh, that time, I more time play like a winger, like attacking midfielder. And uh, we have one injury guy, striker, and he put me in the number nine. And uh, when, he, yeah. when I start to play in this position, I start to feel much more better. And uh, he trusts me, he gives me a chance. And I can tell him very thank you, you know. It was uh, good for me and uh, in the future, you know. And uh, he's a very good player. He wins Champions League, he wins uh, Liga Europa. He's one of the best uh, players in, uh, in the Lithuania. And, and tell us, how did uh, India and India football happen for you? Because uh, I believe John Gregory gave you a call when, you, when he saw you playing against Malta. He knew that this is a kind of player that he would need for Chennai FC. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, John, uh, he bring me in India. Also, I must say thank you. If not him, maybe I never come to India. You know? uh, it was uh, good for me what he was in Israel, coach. Uh, he have good friends there and I uh, have good season in Israel. He get a lot good uh, uh, about me, how I playing, uh, what I am person. And uh, it was easy for him to bring me in India and he knows what yeah. need to for him striker. And uh, what we see in the end, uh, I did good decision what I come in India and I happy and I join, you know. Absolutely. Great decision, Nerka. And, I, and we are so happy that, uh, you know, you had a great season and that you're looking to come back for another season now. Uh, and I'll come, to, I'll, I'll come to Jamshedpur also in just a minute, but I'm going to take a few fan questions that have come for you. Okay. The first one was from Saikat, Saikat uh, Sen Gupta. Or uh, should I take one from I am Abhishek actually first? And he wanted to know what were your best memories in Chennai in FC? Uh, best memories... Uh... This is incredible game against Goa in uh, at home stadium. It was amazing game, amazing support. Uh, if uh, come uh, so, like fans, like every game like that, it's Indian football grow up much more faster than now. This is reason players always want to give maximum when coming uh, full stadium. This is reason uh, to yeah. play football, and uh, I think so. This is was for me. Uh, this game and also Hyderabad, like personally for him, for, for me, for my team, this is, was very important points and goals, you know. When you won that game against Hyderabad and, you know, the three goals coming in injury time, did you at any point believe after the game that, look, we can actually go on to win the ISL? We are not just here to make numbers. No, in this couple of games, we don't think about it, you know, we start to play game by game and uh, don't think too much far, you know, uh, it was a couple of games when we win, after we get some loose and we start to think, ah, finish, we don't have any chance, but we start to believe uh, uh, it was a uh, change coach, when they change coach uh, Chennai, it was a uh, little bit uh, like punch us to us, you know, to start to play much more better and uh, we start to believe and we win game by game, you know. Certainly did. And I mean, what a turnaround it turned, uh, it turned out to be. And I'm going to get, get straight to the second question, which comes from... Uh, actually, there are two questions. There's one from Saikat Sen Gupta uh, and Ayush Kedia 13. Similar sort of questions. One is, 
how does it feel to reunite with your former coach in Jamshedpur? And Ayush has a similar question, and he wanted to know what is special and unique about Owen Coyle that makes him uh, such a good coach, according to you. Uh, it was the most important factor what I moved to Jamshedpur, and uh, I really like to work again with with him, with him, with Sandy, assistant coach. I really happy w what they bring in the training when they come. They bring uh, high intensity. Uh, good finishing in a training, uh, good games, small games, and uh, this is was important for us in that moment. Yeah, we maybe didn't was ready to play like a good uh, high intensity all game, and when they come, we start to play much more aggressive, much more do press, and we have much more power, and this is was important uh, for us, and I'm very happy with him to continue my journey in India, especially. Excellent. Have you been in touch with him? Have you uh, had a phone call or, 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 or over messages? Have you managed to stay in touch? Yes, I, I spoke with him uh, and call and uh, he gave me a message a lot and we spoke about uh, this decision. Uh, he didn't say, come Nerka for sure. He said, yeah, I want you. You, you must uh, think about it and uh, I really want to work with you together again and uh, you know me. I, I know you and it's much more easy to work together again, you know. I saw the interview that you gave to Chennai and FC in the middle of the season, Nerka, and you, and you spoke about how important family is to you. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, you wanting to spend time with your children as much as possible. It's not just about having a mother. It's also about having a father. How does this season, where you're going to be in one city for such a long time, change that? I mean, uh, is your family going to be around? How are you going to be able to, you know, support them and have them around? No, this season, you know, it uh, will be, I think, so it's very difficult. But uh, everybody understands this is a virus and... Uh, uh, when sometimes uh, if you go like another country, you must say like uh, two weeks quarantine, you know, maybe this year I come alone and uh, it will be hard. But, you know, uh, what we can do now, this is uh, this is all world uh, uh, live like that, you know, but I, I hopefully uh, we have chance to meet them to in the middle season, you know like in September yeah. or January and it will be fun for us, you know, to, to, we will miss everybody, you know, these families, it's not to come alone, me, everybody come like uh, without families and it will be hard, but this is sometimes yeah. happening. Yeah, it's easier, it's easier to share the pain when everyone's going, going through the same thing, but yeah, uh, yeah absolutely agree, agree with that. I'll jump to the next question, which is from Anubrat, and uh, he wanted to know, did you expect the golden boot to come after not getting enough game time under John Gregory? Because you are the only golden boot winner who wasn't leading the race up till the playoffs. Everybody else who's gone on to win the golden boot mm -hmm. was leading in the race, even getting into the semifinals, and you were the first one to do that without. So uh, you must be really proud of that effort. Yeah, I'm very happy, you know, I didn't score like uh, everybody is talking, ah, Nerka shoot one penalty and he miss, you know, everybody is laughing, you know, <laughs> but I, I, I say, okay, no problem, what, I score 15 goals, everybody, every goal, it was clean, nice, and uh, I give for my team the best, you know, but it was not my yeah. target, only goals, you know, like uh, 15, of course, I am striker, I need to score goals, this is, everybody knows, but for me, if I score 10 goals next season and every game I score one goal and it will be 10 wins, I say, okay, we will win 10 games and we will yeah. be in top four. This is, I will be happy. It's not my target, only goals. I give all, I like to give assists and everybody know what I, I do great job and I want, I team, team player, you know, not like selfish. I don't like like that. But did you did you have a chat with uh, Roy Krishna after the final because both of you were in the running for the golden boot uh, and, and what was and, and what were his words to you? Yeah, I spoke with him a little bit and he congratulate congr congratulate me. You know, it's uh, thank you. Uh, we have uh, both good chance. Also, he get injury. It's very sad, but you know, sometimes yeah. nobody knows. Maybe I also I, in this game I feel uh, same injury. I feeling uh, also leg. Uh, uh, hamstrings, it was, you know, long season and in the end you start to feel uh, all your body and uh, it's happening for him, yeah. injury, maybe he also will be score goals, you know, and he have chance when we start to play open game, maybe he, for sure, he score, he very fast and very good player. 
Yeah, aren't we glad he's coming back as well, just like you. Uh, we'll be really eagerly watching that rivalry between you and him, even though you guys are friends off the pitch. Uh, I'll get to the next one, which is from Gopal Krishnan. How will you develop a new combination in a new team? Now, there's a lot of chat about how Valskis and Krivilaro were so good for Chennai and FC. Krivilaro has extended his stay with Chennai. You have gone to Jamshedpur. How do you find a partner now, Nelka? Because you guys were so good together. Yes, it was good, but you know, uh, like uh, I say before, uh, coach coming in the team, coach going out and player same, you know, uh, everybody must yeah. move forward and uh, of course, he's a good player, quality player, we have a good uh, understanding on the pitch, but uh, what I know, Jamshadpur uh, coming very good, number 10, that's why... I don't uh, cry, you know, I'm feeling uh, comfortable and I believe what it will be much more better. But okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm happy with what I know. Okay, also, we, also, we, we won't get to... Also, we... Jackie Chan, the uh, winger, and, and uh, I know how many he has is doing uh, to Koro and uh, it will be, I think, so good, yeah. uh, good, good, good uh, players. I'm really tempted to ask you about some signings, but I know that you can't give them away, so I will not ask anything. We'll let Jamshedpur FC announce them uh, when time comes along. Of course. Uh, I'll get to the next question, uh, Nerka. That's from Chinmoy Shekhar. And, uh, you know, a lot of people want to know about your time spent with the likes of Thapa and with Changte, uh, because they're the two Indian stars who really emerged after that season uh, with Chennai. I mean, Thapa even before that, but Changte in particular. Uh, how, did you, how did you look at them as Indian footballers? Yeah, they're very good the guys, they're very quiet and very professional, they like work hard and uh, only for what for them need, need to more games, you know, and uh, of course uh, need yeah. for him maybe to chance to go abroad, you know, when you go abroad, you have more chance to improve, you know, in Europe like uh, or in another country, we have much more game per year and uh, for Indian players it's when you're young it's very important uh, more games like 35 40 games per season it's not enough like uh, yeah. uh, this time we play like 20 games or less this is depend if you go to top four you have a couple games more you know but they really good like Tapa very smart uh, quality player chant uh, very fast and uh, he have time to improve more I think that, that should answer Gopal Krishnan and Chinmoy Shekhar's uh, question uh, about Thapa and Changte. Uh, I'll get to Jamshedpur now. And Sasanka underscore Banerjee and Aftab SD17 had similar questions. What inspired you to join JFC? I think you've already said Owen Coyle played a ba major role. Yeah. How do you feel being a part of Jamshedpur FC now? What is the kind of chat that you had with the management over there? Uh, I can tell you what I'm really excited to continue my journey in India. First of all, second, I'm very happy to join Jamshedpur. Uh, like everybody asked me what uh, they never been in top four. This is for me like uh, more uh, pressure, but I want this pressure. And uh, I hope we together with the team, uh, we bring them in top four. And uh, when you come there, it's everything possible. Need to believe, need to work hard. And uh, what we do with the Owen Coil, uh, everything is possible. Need to, need, to, need to work hard and to be like a team. Excellent. And uh, there's, there's another question from Arnav underscore Kumar 1219. And also one from Rocky Biswa 69. Again, similar questions. Which Jamshedpur players are you really eager to play with? Uh, and your favorite Indian player at Jamshedpur FC? Uh, Jamshedpur player, I think so, Narander, he's a very good, uh, young, uh, talented player and I like to play against him. He's like uh, very young, but he playing uh, not like young, he's a very good player. And uh, I really yeah. can't wait to start to play with uh, my new teammates and like Jackie Chan to see how we can to start to uh, understand each other, you know, like uh, it will be a great, great, great season, I believe on that. Has Coach Coyle already started his online classes with you uh, over the internet or have they, has he not started any sessions yet? Uh, not yet, but uh, we all we every day in him in uh, touch and uh, we contact, uh, we have some uh, program individual uh, with the coach, what we must to train and uh, it's, everything's okay. 
Okay, uh, I'll go to the next one. It's from Ids uh, Sadakat, and he wanted to know what do you think about the club facilities and the fan base, the Red Miners, the as they're popularly called. Uh, obviously, they're not going to be there in Goa, as you know, it's a it's a bubble season. But yeah. what have you made of uh, you know the fan support that Jamshedpur had last time, and also the club facilities that you must have been told about? Yeah, I, I've been in Jamshedpur two times. We have pre-season one week in Jamshedpur. I remember very, very well. And uh, we have game in December, I think so. Uh, I can yeah. tell about facilities. This is uh, in India, I think. So one of the best facilities, they have own facilities and uh, pitch, uh, gym, uh, swimming. One of the best academies in India. About uh, fans, what I can tell you, it was uh, very, very, very good and very nice when we come to play against them. I, th- I remember we started to play with them and I score one goal. We leading uh, yeah. until the end, then they score one one. Oh, it was very, very loud and it was amazing, amazing support from them. They coming uh, all games like close to full stadium and this has pushed you to play better and every game better. And I I'm sure the red miners. Yeah, and I can't. Sorry. can't wait to to play against against him against them when they support us. You know. <laughs> well, I, I I can totally imagine because they'll be watching on their TV sets, on their mobiles or tabs, whatever. They'll they'll be cheering you on wherever they are in uh, Jamshedpur or even beyond. Um, okay, I'll get to the next one, and that is sort of a more world football question, and that comes from. Uh, Isaac Bankira. Actually, before that, I'll take another one from Ayush Kedia, who I believe is on uh, watching this as well. Uh, he wanted to know, do you think JFC can be ISL champions 2020? If so, why? And before you answer that, Owen Coyle, I remember, uh, said that you know he always told his players, even though Chennai were ninth on the table when he took over, that we should be looking at winning the trophy. Is that the sort of mentality you're going to go in, go in with uh, to Jamshedpur as well? Yes, we're coming only to to give something for the fans, some uh, some wins, some uh, like uh, I cannot tell you, promise what we will be for sure top four. But when you come in top four, then you have chance. This is the reason to fight for uh, first of all for top four. And uh, I yeah. believe I believe what uh, we have a great mixed team with uh, experience and that. Uh, Young, talented, talented Indian players. It will be, I think, so good uh, team, and uh, we together we can uh, do a lot. All right, Ayush. I hope that answers your question. Uh, they're looking to win the trophy, and nothing less than that. I'll go to a more world football question, uh, Nerka, and that comes from Isaac Bankira. But something that even I wanted to know for the longest time: Why do you celebrate like CR7? Ah, uh, you know, when I come to India, I think so. I need to some uh, celebration, and uh, after a couple of games, I, I think it's in India. I have like a lot of fans, Cristiano Ronaldo. And yeah, it was fun to give something to them, you know. And after they start to love, you know, and I, I start to repeat, 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 and you know, every game one, two goals, they start to will be excited, and and, and I continue like that. I really like Ronaldo. Are you going to have a Sorry, are you going to have a different celebration this time or are you going to stick to that? I go with another one. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yeah, new, new team, new, new team, new celebration. I cannot uh, do like that, you know. I must uh, move forward. New, new team. All right, new we're, we're, waiting. <laughs> we're waiting for that. We're waiting for that, Nerka, when, when that first goal comes. And I mean, you went. You you celebrated once, and then you went on to celebrate fourteen more times when you when you scored in the uh, ISL final as well. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, I'll get to the next one from Dash Pai, and he wanted to know who do you love to score against the most, and he wants to know a goalkeeper's name. Any goalkeeper do you love scoring against, uh, or you would want to score against the most? I want to score against Bengaluru. <laughs> because you haven't. <laughs> yeah, that's why Mumbai also. But uh, you know, some teams uh, I didn't score, but uh, but sometimes yeah, uh, you cannot score to to all. But I have another two seasons, and I for sure I will score. I believe uh, I work on, uh, on that. Okay, so Darsh, to answer your question, Nerka wants to score against Bengaluru. So the answer would be Gurpreet Singh Sandhu, who's their goalkeeper. Uh, okay, I'll get to the next one. Abhi underscore Shri 7 wanted to know, which club's defense did you find the hardest to break down? It was very hard uh, against Bengaluru. They were very well playing in defense. Uh, 
who are other defenders, yes. Uh, two yeah. defenders, Spain, both very good uh, and uh, they very compact playing and it's they didn't give you chance. Uh, the, if you give one chance, you must score. If no, it will be difficult. That's why for them it's uh, very difficult to play. They playing the defense uh, game and also on set pieces. You know, it's very difficult. I, I I don't like to play against them, but also for me it's a challenge. You know, to play against good team. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, we'll come to your choices a little bit now. Uh, your favorite foreign player and coach that you admire the most? You can't say Owen Coyle because we know you admire him a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. I can't tell uh, Goa coach. Uh, I forget. Sergio Lobera? Yes, he's a very good coach and he playing very well uh, with him, you know, when they, they win the league. Uh, and with him, I think so. Uh, when they left, we have more than when they left, we have more chance to win, win against them. It was, I think, so big mistake from Agua. No, it's my opinion from my side, but, you know, it's football. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Fair enough. You guys, uh, you guys had a great game against them in Marina Arena, yeah. which was the, the first leg of the semi-final. Nerka, do you think that was Chennai's best game last season? Overall, as a team performance? Uh, I think so. I think so. We play very well and we can win. I think so. Not for one. I think so. We can win 6-0 this game. We play very good. Very good. Only in the end, we start to play crazy. Everybody wants to score in the end, you know. And uh, finally, we get one more yeah. goal and we start to a little bit nervous, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that, that, was a, that was a great game. And obviously... A lot, not a lot of people would have seen Chennai do that. Do you think that there was added motivation because a lot of people would have thought Goa is going to win this? Uh, it uh, was, you know, for them more pressure than for uh, for us, you know, and we come uh, easy. Yeah. Uh, if you remember in the league game when we play against them, we lose 3 4. And uh, we playing yeah. very good, but uh, the scoring goals from our mistakes and we believe what we can uh, play much more better only don't need to give them easy goals and we play without mistakes and we give will and we win this game yeah that that i completely forgotten about that obviously you'd already shown what you guys could do against goa much before that time sergio was the coach so you yeah, know not, yeah. not too much has changed obviously <laughs> Okay, uh, in terms of your favorite foreign player, Nerka, uh, who would your favorite foreigner be? Uh, I think so. Foreign, foreign player? I think so, Krishna. Yeah, as in Roy Krishna, your favorite? Krishna or Toro, both very good and uh, I respect them both. I was going to ask you, your favorite striker, You, I think you've already answered that. So, yes. apart from you, you would... You would you would rate Krishna? Krishna or, Krishna or Koro? Or, uh, this is both very good, you know, like, uh, uh, I yeah. can tell, like, uh, Toro, he is uh, not young, but he is still in uh, good condition. And uh, for this reason, yeah. you know, nobody can play, like, uh, in this age. And what he doing, it's amazing. Uh, three seasons in a row, he scored 15, 18, 16 goals. This is uh, something special, you know. And Roy Krishna uh, come like me. Uh, in first season, we score about 15 goals, six assists, and you know, sometimes you don't know he will score or he or he give assist. This is uh, much more difficult, you know, from defense. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, sorry, I just lost your voice yes. there towards the end, but I but I heard, but I. I don't I don't hear you now. I'll go to the next one. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, Is it okay? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll move to the next one. Again. Indian youngster, do you think? Again. You hear you? Is it back now? Yes. Can you hear me okay now? Yes, yes, now I, I hear you. Okay, perfect. I'm saying which Indian youngster do you think will do a great job for India as well as in the ISL? Just Shinde wanted to know. Uh, one player? One Indian player you think will do really well for the national team and also in the ISL in the future? Uh, I think so. I believe uh, in Northeast the player, uh, middle 45 number, I forget the uh, name. Nanak Boya. 
Lalin Moya, number 45. Yes, I believe what he can do very good and very well for national team, for the team, for the Indian Super League. And also Tapa. Tapa and I think so they can do a very good job in the middle. And uh, when you have very good players uh, like uh, Sahal, uh, three players in the middle, but you must play like uh, this number 45, uh, Tapa and uh, Sahal. Three amazing players, uh, talented players. And it can be uh, for uh, Indian team uh, key. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, because... A lot of people speak a lot about Thapa and uh, Sahal, but you mentioned Laling Moya. And yeah. Nelka, a lot of people have mentioned Laling Moya from Northeast United. What was the one quality that you think uh, stands out about uh, you know Laling Moya that makes him a very different player? Because he's very young. Yeah, he's very young, but he's uh, very good with the ball and he's very quiet uh, quality. Uh, he's playing like number six position. Uh, I very really like how he controls the ball. It's not so easy to play when you have always pressure, you know, on the back. And uh, he doing very good job and uh, uh, his quality. And he don't miss a lot of balls. This is important for midfielders. You know, if you don't miss balls, uh, your team you can control ball. This is important for Indian football. And uh, I like uh, one, two games when I play, I watch and uh, I say, oh, he's very young and he's doing a very good job. Only need to improve more and more. Yes. Are you okay now? Yes. yes. Okay, it's absolutely pouring where I am. So there's a lot of rain. Maybe that's why there's a connection issue over there. But uh, if, if I get stuck, I'll, I'll be back. Don't okay. worry. Uh, okay, I'll jump to the next round, which I call uh, uh, Tiki Taka Nerka. Yes. I give you some clues and you have to guess the name of the player that I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Okay, you ready for this? Yes. Okay, I created 52 scoring chances in Hero ISL 2019-20. Yes. The most by any player. Uh, Who am I? Chante. Nope. No. He's a foreigner. Uh, Ogbecha. I'll give you another clue. Ogbecha. No. No, he's, he created 52 scoring chances, ah. but he also gave five, five assists to your 15 goals. Ah, Rafael. Rafael Crivellaro. Yes. The, the, one, the one favorite memory that you have with Rafael Crivellaro? Hmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anything, anything that you remember that you really liked about his style of play? No, he's a very good player. Uh, he's very good playing with the ball, with the back. And uh, in this position, uh, he's very good. And uh, he's doing very well for Chennai. And uh, he continued there. And let's see, let's see who is will win. Excellent. I like it. You know, already the, the, the signal is very clear. Okay, I'll get to the next one. Uh, let's see if you can guess this player. I played the most number of minutes. Amongst all Chennai FC outfield players in Hero ISL 2019-20. So apart from the goalkeeper, I played the most number of minutes mm -hmm. amongst all Chennai FC players. Who am I? Mm -hmm. Edwin. Nope. Sydney. I'll give you a second clue. Uh -huh. No, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a second clue. Uh, my goal against Mumbai City FC sent Chennai. In through uh, to the ISL knockout stages. My brother, go that should be easy. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, go ahead. You call him a brother, and obviously you guys are great friends. You travel back from India together as well after the season. Uh, what's you know what's the kind of relationship with Lucian Goyan that you have? Uh, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, it's very good guy. We start uh, sometimes on the pitch. We crazy. We fight, but we fight only for the wins. You know, when we. After the game, we have good uh, how to say relationship, and uh, we enjoying uh, time in India together. You know, he's good uh, captain, and he's doing very well. And his age, uh, he's not young, but he still can play for sure. You know, to give uh, good, uh, good, good uh, results on the team. Yeah, great guy, Goyan. And of course, a lot of fun because his son, Luca, also keeps, uh, keeps yeah, uh, you very, know, very good he has a lot of fun in India. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of boys, my next clue to you is, 
all my six assists in hero isl 2019-20 were to the front four of you krivilaro shemri and changte so this guy gave assists to only the front four who am i tapa yeah excellent you already praised anirudh tapa a lot but if he has to take the next step in his career according to you nelka what does he have to do uh he must move uh, abroad are you going to get him in touch with your agent to help him move abroad uh let's see let's see but he must <laughs> move uh, it's uh, for all indian players who already going uh, like uh, leaders in the nas- national team they must to uh, try to go uh, somewhere you know like everybody is staying at home yes it's easy with friends with families it's same language but you know yeah. you must uh, go out from this uh, when you're feeling very good but it's uh, you get uh, some 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 uh, improve more in uh, europe you know this is important from for india i just had a counter question to this nerka and i remember you said it in your interview as well that you did not think that you're going to get a lot of game time in say england or spanish leagues yeah. so you chose other leagues as an option uh, sunil chetri the indian captain has gone abroad and he's off, he's always spoken that you know it's sometimes it can get frustrating if you're abroad and you're sitting on the bench for too long you're not getting enough game time do you think for indian footballers maybe that's the reason why they don't look to go abroad because they think they might not get into the 11 yeah maybe maybe they afraid you know maybe they afraid and don't want to risk you know to go to sit on the bench but uh, if they go like a uh, good league maybe not so very good team but they start to play and this is will be very good for them yeah. you know and uh, they we they will see uh, another like high intensity training you know it's uh, in europe it's sometimes it's not very hot like in india and you can uh, play much more high intensity game than uh, in india it's this is reason also can can disagree with that okay i'll go to the last clue about the last player i'm looking for and that is uh, i took 18 shots to score my first goal in hero isl 2019 20 which came in Owen Coyle's first win in Hero ISL against Kerala Blasters. Mm, Chante. He took 18 shots. Yeah, that's the one. Chante, I remember. Lalan Suwala Chante. It was an amazing uh, game. Uh, a little bit uh, strange game. Refer is doing uh, some uh, I don't understand the situation. <laughs> They cancelled the goal if you remember. <laughs> uh but when we scored yeah. when the chente score goal it was very good and nice attack i remember uh, i give to rafa rafa give to me yeah. and then i give to chente it was a very really good uh, goal and we start to celebrate <laughs> yeah I, i i i can never forget that game uh, especially because of all the controversy that happened but did, but somebody like somebody like chante nerka did he ever come up to you to seek advice uh do a lot of these indian footballers often interact with uh, with you to you know to find out how they can get better yes they must work hard you know and to to improve uh, some uh, small things where they doing mistakes you know like maybe cross more and uh, they must work on that on the, some small things like he's very uh, good quality player but uh, for him uh, from my side he must improve on the crosses you know uh he with the ball very good his technique very good but with the crosses he can uh, work more and he for sure yeah. uh give more assist uh, for uh, strikers for indian strikers in the league in the for india this is important for him and uh, this is uh, advice to him from my side you know you are also back for the new season so i'm going to jump to the next round which is uh, yeah. which basically is a, is one touch let's football uh and you're going to you have it's like a rapid fire nerka so you have to be as quick as possible okay in answering the question all right ready for this okay opening goal versus hyderabad or goal in the final against atk your uh, your favorite memory hyderabad hyderabad okay anirudh thapa or edwin sydney van's fall uh thapa okay uh, eli sabia or goyan that's easy go ahead okay set piece goal or an open play goal what do you prefer open goal your favorite open play goal uh, last season which one would you pick uh put you on the spot uh, there i think so hyderabad away game uh, when give me shkembri pass with the left i score 
Ah, that one. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Rafael Cribalero or Shembri? Since you mentioned them, uh, Shembri. Shembri. Six uh, three win versus Kerala or four one win versus Goa in the semi final. Again. Which which is a bigger me- better memory for you? The six three win against Kerala Blasters in Kochi. Or the four-one win versus Goa in the semi-final. Ah, uh, Goa for sure. Goa only Goa. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> wow. Even with the six-three scoreline, you you choose Goa. All right. Golden boot in Hero ISL 2019-20 or finishing as the top scorer in the Lithuanian league uh, before that. Indian Indian Super League. Do you uh, do you sometimes pinch yourself that you know you you travel to so many different countries? You know you you were in Israel just before this. uh and, and you know you find yourself now in uh, in india having sort of travel to poland to latvia to thailand yes. uh, to romania as well to belarus as well uh but if there's if there's one thing that you that you remember in your entire career your favorite memory would would be uh it will be in israel uh, i win a cup with a small team and we win we win against maccabi tel aviv this is one of the foremost team in israel and uh, this is, yeah. was uh, good uh, memories we win cup a small team and uh, i always remember you know when you winning something this is always you remember and since we're talking about memories uh, if there's one thing that you would change about the previous isl season apart from losing in the final yeah. what would that be uh i think so i will score this uh, first my chance in against atk and then we will win <laughs> when i put the cross bar yeah i remember your your chances yeah. uh, just just after the final nerka uh, after the uh, the isl final what was the chat like with your teammates obviously everyone must be really disappointed having come that far yeah. but uh, you know what was the interaction like with owen coil and the rest of the team well, it was very sad but uh, in the end uh, to looking at what we did it was a miracle season yes uh, uh, two teams come in the final one team must to lose you know it's happening what we lose and uh, but we was positive we take uh, everything what we did in this season uh, good and i think so it was okay you know yes sad but i uh, need to look forward then to come back with another uh, motivation like uh, for next uh, season and if there's one stadium away from home i mean this isl is in goa but if there were to be one stadium away from home that you really like playing in which would be that uh i like uh, play in mumbai and uh, it was very great uh, in konchi i like three stadiums konchi uh mumbai very nice and uh, uh, jamshedpur and uh, chennai Jamshedpur and and in Chennai. Okay, since you mentioned in, Jamshedpur, in Jamshedpur and a lot of Jamshedpur, very, very very good pitch. Oh, and incredible grass, very good quality. I think so. This is the best uh, from my side. Overall in the ISL, according yes, to you. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Okay, and since you mentioned uh, you mentioned Jamshedpur, a lot of Jamshedpur FC fans ask questions who are, which are which are relate to you, Nerka. Your message to uh, to all of them before the next season. Uh, I want to say them uh, stay safe first of all and uh, stay at home and uh, I want to say for the fans uh, patient believe in us believe in us uh, we bring some good memories for for fans and uh, we coming to bring home something special and finally finally nerka if if there's If there's one thing that Nerka Valskis wants to be always remembered as, what would that be? I want to win the uh, league with the uh, Jamshedpur. They always uh, remember me. You know, this is uh, the best key <laughs> what I can do. What they remember me. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much for your time today. I- I'll let you go back to your family. Yes. Uh, won't take too much time away, but uh, thank you for joining us and sparing thank time. You. Thank you, thank you so much for inviting this uh, amazing uh, chat and uh, good luck to everyone and uh, stay at home. You know, everybody, everything was be good. Only need to believe and fight together. And see you soon, India. That's it. That's it, Nerka. Thanks a lot. Uh, and the Red Miners are also just saying goodbye to you and wishing okay. you all the very best. Okay. Okay. See. Bye bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 
Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this. There's always a few connectivity issues, which has almost become par for the course now. Every time we're live on Instagram, sometimes it's Instagram, sometimes it's it's just uh, the rain and the and the weather. But thanks for being so patient and uh, listening to uh, Nereus Valskis, who joined us from Lithuania. He's uh, switched flanks from Chennai to Jamshedpur, and he's looking to lead the line for them and reunited with his manager Owen Coyle, who was with him with the two-time champions Chennai, looking to not just get to the playoffs for the first time with Jamshedpur, but to win the trophy, like he said. To all GFC fans uh, watching this, thanks for tuning into this. As always, uh, we'll see you very soon. But until then, stay safe and uh, goodbye.